Hi, my name is Kia Charisma. I'm a textured hair specialist, and I'm here with the good folks at TG and my model, Samantha. Today, we're going to be doing a dry curly cut. I'm calling long brown layers. Last night, I had Samantha prep her hair with recovery shampoo and conditioner to give her curls an added boost of moisture. Okay, to establish our guide to length, we're gonna bring all the hair to the front so that Samantha can let me know how long or short she wants her haircut to be. To establish our guide to length, we're going to cut straight. And now we're just gonna balance our section over here on the other side with a straight line. Okay, now that we've established our guide to length, I'm gonna work from Samantha's natural part. First, we're going to bring her hair to the back and start from the center hairline. We're gonna take a diagonal back and we're gonna be about one inch from the hairline. And then I am just going to clip her hair out of the way because we are going to use this hair we've left out to create our frame. I'm gonna take our second diagonal back. And it's okay if we kind of rough the curls up a little bit. More volume means you can just see your sections better and just kind of see where the curls live. And that's the main reason I do like to cut curly hair dry is that I like to see where the curls live naturally. At this point, we start to create her face frame. So she likes these little wispies here in the front, sometimes when she does her hair half up or where it's a top knot. And so we've got some disconnection right here. What we're gonna do is take a vertical section in front of the ear, bring this hair forward and separate these curls a little. All right, we're gonna take our section over direct forward and then gently cut straight to build a nice gradual face frame. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Take your vertical section in front of the ear. And if you happen to have a client with a little sparse of a hairline, you can take a little bit more hair like right above the ear to help bring that together. So we are gonna connect this section to this section. We're gonna bring the section forward. So now we've started to build our face frame. And now we are going to take a vertical parting behind the ear, starting from the top of the crown. You want to be sure to leave a little bit of hair out at the hairline because this is going to help connect the front of the haircut to the back. I'm going to clip this away for a moment and then we are going to clip up the front of her hair so we don't accidentally cut some that we don't want to cut. For the back of her hair, we're gonna work in three sections. Our first section is going to be right at the nape. We're gonna take a horizontal parting and this is going to establish our weight line. Twist this up. So we established our guide to length in the front now we're going to take this section, smooth out the ends. I want to cut off the little wispy ends right here. And so I'm going to gather it up, two fingers here, one finger here, and then we're going to cut round. That's our first section. And because Samantha has a finer density hair, we're going to work in smaller sections. So we're going to take another horizontal section right at the occipital. In our second section, we're going to go ahead and open these curls up so that we can see our guide underneath. Gather this up. Here's our guide right here. Elevates 45 degrees, and we're going to cut round. And you can see the layers already starting to build. Next horizontal section is going to be the back of the crown on Samantha. And you would customize this to your guests depending on their hair density. Higher density clients need fewer sections. Low density clients need more sections so that they don't end up with disconnection. Gather them together. Elevate to 45 is our guide. And you'll see we're cutting off less and less hair the farther up the head we go. And don't be afraid if there's little wispies. We can always clean this up when we refine after we style her hair. Let down our top section. And there's really not much to cut here because we've already built her layers. So now we're going to move to the front of the haircut. We're going to start about one inch from her hairline, take a diagonal back, in your section, flip out of the way. So the way you connect the front and the back of the haircut, you're going to take a vertical section behind her ear and then a little bit of your pre-cut section from the back. Over direct back, elevate to 45. Here's my guide, cut round. We're gonna leave her wispies alone. Take our second section here, open the curls up. And this we're going to go at natural fall. Elevate to 45, cut rounds. And this is only gonna end up being three sections. We're gonna take another diagonal back, leaving out this topmost section. 
Take your vertical section above the ear this time. We're not going to over direct back. You're going to have this at natural fall, elevate to 45. Here's our guide, cut round. And then we are going to take the section up here in the front. And I'm raking through to release the curls so that we don't have any hidden pieces right here in the back. That's our previously cut section. We're really just refining at this point. You can start seeing that nice rounded shape popping off right there. And so now we're just gonna repeat the same on the other side. Diagonal back one inch from the hairline. So this is the back of her haircut. The front, we're gonna take a vertical section above the ear. So this side is just a little bit more sparse than the other. Release the curls at the end. Elevate to 45 degrees, over direct back. Here's my guide. There's not much to cut here, so we're gonna go ahead and just leave that alone. No need to make up areas to cut. Take our next section, about a one inch diagonal back. Vertical section above the ear. And now we are going to have this at natural fall. Release the curls, elevate to 45. Here's my guide, and cut round. Now we're gonna take a bit of our previous cut section, bring it to our front section, release those curls, elevate to 45 degrees. We're gonna release the last section here, and if you end up with curl families, it's okay to go ahead and open those up because they're gonna help you see the shape when you're done and you're checking it in the mirror with your client. Final section above the ear, release the curls, open them up. We're gonna take the full section at natural fall, elevate to 45, cut round. And once you're done with your section, you're gonna bring the hair to the front to check for balance. And if anything falls out of the shape, you can just clean them up. And now that the haircut's complete, I'm gonna grab a spray bottle, wet her hair down, and move on to our styling products. First, I'm gonna start with the Foxy Curls Contour Cream as a base to help preserve her style and give it longevity. And then we're gonna follow with the Foxy Curls Extreme Curl Mousse for volume and hold. And now we're just going to distribute this evenly through her hair. I like to use a styling brush to distribute the product evenly and help create curl families. And then to help encourage the curl, we're going to scrunch these guys. A key thing to keep in mind when you're styling curly hair is the way the curls look wet is how they are going to look dry. So if you've got frizz or any wild flyaways while it's wet, they'll still be there when the hair is dry. Okay, so now that we've got the products in, I'm gonna to start to diffuse her hair on high heat, low fan speed. And now we're gonna apply the Wanna Glow Hydrating Jelly Oil to tame any flyaways. And for our finishing touch, I'm gonna to apply the Headbrush Shine Spray. Hey. All right, everyone, I'm Kia Charisma, and we styled Samantha's amazing curls using the Foxy Curls line. For more inspiration, visit bedhead.com. Thanks.